Today we're going to talk about um, black widows. The most common place to find them are right down by the J-rail. Just all crazy mixed up down here by the J-rail. Okay, why? Because the J-rail offers, goes into the wall, inside of the wall, offers a lot of cool air coming out, cool moist air coming out. Also is a great place for crickets to breed. Remember that crickets breed in these plants because there's water drippers on the plants. So there's a huge population of crickets in the yard. Therefore, that which preys upon crickets will also do well, which is black widows. Okay? So the black widow oftentimes, if you walk around the foundation of the house, you'll find a web like this purple web I have here at the base down by the J rail. Very common to find them right at the entryway. Right at the entryway, just here or there or the other place. Now, how do you know it's a black widow's web if there's no black widow in the web? Number one, they're chaotic. Okay? A chaotic web means that it has no order to it. If you remember the story Charlotte's Web, they, a lot of spiders create a pattern to their web, design, you know, a design in their web. Black widows have no pattern to their webs, none at all. It's just all chaotic. Oftentimes, uh, you'll find leaves and debris in the black widow's web because the web is so strong. It's the strongest web of any spider here in Arizona. Okay. And so it's a very strong, sticky web. It's low to the ground. Sometimes you will see on severe infestations, black widows with webs up in the eaves. And you'll actually be able to see her sometimes in the very corner, just trying to hide as much as she can. But usually it's down by the ground because their number one food source is crickets. Okay? So if the web is low to the ground and it doesn't have any spider out in it, other spiders don't, don't really recluse back into a lair. They don't recluse back into a dark space. Most of them don't. 